Brownian motion. The movement of gas or liquid particles was investigated in the 1890s by a Scotch botanist, Robert Brown. It's much harder to visualize the particles of a gas or a liquid than those of a solid, because they move about in such a disordered way, and most of gas is empty space. Then Robert Brown has used a microscope to look at pollen grains, much heavier than water molecules, suspended in the water. He observed that the pollen granules seemed to move in random motion. Could the pollen be alive? It was hard to believe because no energy was being supplied to the pollen grains. The water was calm. At this point, he could not explain why this occurred. He probably saw something similar to that. But in 1905, the physicist Albert Einstein explained that the pollen grains were being moved by individual water molecules. The erratic motion of pollen grains in water that Brown observed comes about because the pollen grains are constantly bombarded by fast-moving water molecules. A pollen grain is massive compared with a water molecule. But if there are more high-speed molecules striking one side of it than the other at a given instant, the pollen grain will move in the direction in which there is a net force. The imbalance and hence the direction of the net force changes rapidly in a random manner, their random motion are called Brownian motion. If Robert Brown could see water molecules in the microscope, Robert Brown would have seen something like this. <laughs> 